Let's continue. Then the soldiers, when they had cried, crucified, excuse me, then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier apart and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam woven from the top throughout. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, they parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now, the use of soldiers here does not merely refer to military soldiers, but to those who work on behalf of the satanic leaders of this world. As stated in the previous message, Jesus's garment or raiment generally represents the lost foundation of Islam, in particular, the registered members. The synagogue of Satan's plan is to divide the nation of Islam into parts by attacking it at its foundation. This is what the phrase made four parts means because four represents foundation. This means that they will attack the realities of Master Fard Muhammad, the reality of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as alive and not dead the reality of the destiny of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan and the destiny of the original people of the Western Hemisphere. The Messiah's garment, however, specifically represents the Muslim girls training class or the MGT, where the women who have accepted this training, they radiate the presence of Allah. This is the work of the Messiah and the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has made this exquisitely clear. Let's consider this clip from a message several years ago. Watch. I have always come to Jamaica by myself, sometimes with my family, my wife, my children, but I never came like I came this time. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, you can tell a tree by the fruit it bears, but you can tell a man by his works. So what we brought to Jamaica is a sample of the work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, which is a proof that a new teacher has come among us. And no matter how good the brothers look and how handsome and clean we are, you don't judge civilization by a man. You judge the measure of that civilization by women. And the sisters of the nation of Islam stopped traffic everywhere they went. So from a strategic standpoint, the synagogue of Satan must attack the domestic life where the MGT is concerned. They must also make the MGT appear to be unrighteous. Again, we explained this in a previous message.